about is yeast look like this. And to remind you that they look like this, next time you're in the grocery store and you're in the section that has baking goods, flour and yeast for making dough and bread, take those little packets, grab one, and shake it, and you can imagine the shape that's inside the little packet. It's a packet of little round oval yeast. Okay? And they're used to help with bread. So this is the shape of yeast. And the shape of fungi, which are underneath those three microscopes over there, are typically like cotton balls. You guys ever seen stuff that looks like cotton and it looks like it has fibers to it and it's fuzzy, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's mold that's growing on orange juice or cheese or mold that's growing on drywall in a bathroom that constantly gets wet, right? So what is it that is the difference between yeast and fungi, which mold is a type of fungi, Fungi and, ye and yeast, um, or mold and yeast, is that yeast are always round and oval shape, and mold has something called uh, mycelium. Here's, um, here's mycelium here. So this looks like cotton or it looks like fuzzy stuff, right? You've seen, you guys have all seen mold before. So the only difference between mold and yeast is the shape. And a lot of these people that have these advanced degrees really can only tell you by their shape. That's why there are some organisms that are called, ready for this? This is on my exam. It should be here somewhere. It's called dimorphic. You see that word? It means it can have a yeast and a mold stage. And when you discuss this with these medical mycologists, they shrug their shoulders.